decided we'd use the fridge slide for something a bit more appropriate. I'll show you where we put the fridge afterwards. Just makes it a lot easier, we don't have to be pushing it all the way in, you know. It's just a matter of strapping him down. Found if you don't do it tight enough though, it tries to roll out the back window. Not much chop. Girl's getting some hours up. Only two years old. She looks about twenty. It's better. How good's that? Show you where we put that fridge. Since we don't carry passengers too often, figured might as well rip out the back seat and chuck a little angle in there. Um, did have a smaller one picked out, but yeah, I can't do it. I need the biggest things I can find. Some people say I'm compensating, I don't know. I can, I can deal with it. Under here we got our third battery, full first aid kit. Still plenty of room under there. When we're touring around, that ends up pretty well chockers. Um, it's a bit of a... We've been meaning to do this for a while, guys. We haven't got the full camp set out, but we can do it again another time. Up here's our tarp. We pull that out. That comes out about two and a half metres. I'm sure you've seen it. Comes out both sides. Keep a bit of gear in the drawers. It's probably about the only thing we haven't done ourselves is the drawers. Um, bloody handy, but... Definitely advise get some if you don't have them already. All the recovery gear in one. We like our food, guys, so cooking gear in another. And it's just, um, yeah, a kitchen. Made a kitchen for the missus. Got to keep them happy, you know. So that folds down. Bucket's full of rubbish at the moment. Never leave it around, guys. Always take it home with you. Drop the bucket in. And we've got a water tank up top here. Normally have a hose hooked up to that. And we can just feed it straight into the sink. Straight into the shower, whatever you want to do. You really can spend as much or as little as you want on these things, guys. If you can do the work yourself, you're going to save yourselves a fortune. All this stuff's just stuff I've been doing every now and then when I get off the boat. See this hole? Didn't think of that, but bloody hell, it worked out well, didn't it? I was going to put it over here. Fuck, fluke that one. Up here, we've got a spare tyre. Shovel's a bit of a pain when we chuck the tinny on it. Doesn't quite fit in there, so we're gonna have to do something different about that, but can't win them all. Um, and a back seat full of gear at the moment. We've kept the back seat in just in case we do have to drag some freeloader around, but if you get in and have a look too, you can see me rod holders. Tell you what, they're bloody handy. Normally don't like to leave home without them full either. Other than that guys, all she's all we've really done to her is a three inch lift. Uh, I'm sure you've seen we painted the thing. Max tracks up on top. Got me UHF and got me light switches in there. Batteries. Can change that through. And we got it's not hooked up properly, but main battery, auxiliary batteries. Still just running the standard old safari snorkel seems to get us out of plenty of trouble and um me night night monster force i don't know i'm scared of the dark i just find it a lot easier to drive at night um i'd rather take me chances of a roo than a bloody car tell you what one's gonna win anyway guys we'll chuck this tinny on now and uh we'll get out of here wouldn't mind finding somewhere for a swim she's starting to warm up <laughs> Y'all gonna have to sing that song One day and it won't be long Y'all gonna be dead and gone Y'all gonna be dead and gone
weekend. Uh, time to head out. One thing I would like to say, guys, is you know, as you've seen, we don't have a massive setup. We haven't spent a great deal of money on it. What we have done though is bought ourselves a good, reliable four-wheel drive. We've got a brand new outboard for the tinny, so we know that's going to last us. We've got to have faith in those sort of things, guys. But other than that, we try to keep it nice and simple. Um, probably like a lot of you, I grew up watching guys like Bush Tucker Man and Malcolm Douglas. Um, I remember one day watching one of his old Bush Tucker Man episodes. He come up with a kiss idea. Keep it simple, stupid. Bloody hell. That rings true to me, it pays off. You don't have to spend that much money, guys. You go and spend a hundred grand on a Forby and a camp trailer and all that sort of gear. That's going to take you a long time to pay it off in weekends. So yeah. I guess what I'm trying to say is kiss. Works for us. Cheers guys, we're off. Time for a beer.